mess mess look at that mess what a mess so untidy so messy what a rubbish look at that rubbish what can come out of this rubbish i know what can go into that rubbish more oh dear it's so much rubbish so much mess ah it swallows you look at that rubbish look at that rubbish what can come out of this rubbish everywhere is rubbish 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 what a mess what a terrible mess ah i found this a real mess what can come out of this what a terrible package you can't even package properly there is this beautiful package why didn't you use this what a rubbish what a mess i'll open this mess sellotape not even well put together rubbish what a mess ah it says love letter love letter found in a rubbish in a rubbish what a mess a mess inside the mess love letter comes what sort of love letter i must see well i told you it's all a mess this is not a love letter this is a cd a mess what can you ever find in a mess well we see this is not the love letter i have nothing to play the cd in this mess ah i found the letter oh i'll read it to you beloved ones thinking of your passion about the discrimination which presently exists in the states i am also thinking on the discrimination which exists everywhere the different tones and colors of prejudice ones happening right inside of our families and outside too one carried out by the collective state and by individuals and individual states you mentioned racism did i i say don't call it that it makes some feel they are superior and make some see themselves as inferior it makes some feel they are powerful and create a divide of the weak and the strong a divide which really does not exist because in every strong is a weak and in every weak is a strong human condition changes with every breath those who see themselves as strong in one breath may be the weak needing resuscitation the next breath and those who see themselves as the weak in one breath may be the ones providing the resuscitation with another breath so what you call human race i call human collective there is no race there is just uniqueness what you call racism i call damagedism what you call racist i call damaged for only the damaged cause damage 
Those who are love radiating create beauty wherever their radiation touches. Beloved ones, I'm hoping that you will share my passion on this thought. The thoughts I'm now sharing with you. I know you are learned and you may have read something I have not read and you know many things I do not know and you know me like many people do not know. I will value your thoughts on this thought which visited me a few days ago. The thought is to put myself forward to represent anyone who is brave enough to want to claim for unpaid salary owed to own ancestor for slavery as defined in the English dictionary. A person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. Of course, in my own dictionary, no such word exists because no human being can legally own any human being. I mean, I am putting myself forward to represent anyone who can trace ancestry to a person said to have been owned as the legal property of another and forced to obey them. I want to prove that no one is capable of owning anyone and any claimed ownership and forced labor amounts to employment which has not been paid for and any forced treatment must be compensated in full using today's law to calculate the rate and quantum of damages. I have discovered, beloved one, that the world values money and through its own value, change can be made. If anyone is brave enough to come forward to ask me to represent them and provides evidence that an ancestor was owned and forced, then we will take an action in court. Of course, not for the purposes of winning, but for the purposes of making a point, which is a win in itself. But if Touch Love Worldwide registers as a political party, I don't call it political, remember, logical party in places of the world. It will be part of our manifestation. I don't call it manifesto, I call it manifestation because we are manifesting love. We will make it part of that manifestation enshrined in love. You may call it in law. A provision that entitles descendants to take such action where there is proof that connects them to anyone said to have been owned and forced and entitles them to inherit what is owed that person. I will um, go on uh, to explain why this action is important. Today's world recognizes that no one can own anyone. And today's world recognizes historic wrong. And there are historic wrong being proven everywhere and people being compensated for it. So we must put this word away and look at the compensation that follows people that have been owed for a very long time. Um, the provision will entitle uh, descendants to take such action where there is proof that connects them to anyone said to have been owned and forced, provided the businesses of those owners are still traceable in some form and still exist and can pay the compensation. 
Examples such as plantations, etc., which employed people who were thereafter replaced by machines. I mean, those people we are kind of used as machines. How much do you pay for machines now? How much do you pay to maintain a machine? I will represent anyone, anyone, blue colored, red colored, green colored, yellow, brown, black, pink, white, if they have blood flowing in their veins. My idea is to deeply root out that word, slaves, race, which I do not subscribe to and give dignity and to give, I do not subscribe to the word slaves and race. The idea is to root them out and to give dignity and integrity in their place. If things are to be changed, beloved ones, they are to be changed from the roots and roots, including the root called names of which slave and race are part. Names are so important. What you call things are so important. The air you give to things are so important. Breathing is so important. It gives life to names. As you know from our discussion, and many discussions on Facebook and places, beloved ones, <clears throat> this is my philosophy. Change starts from name. Change starts from name. Have you read my book? Many Lovers Book 4267, Volume 1. Do you want to read it? you get to understand the importance of names. Choose a name, beloved one. A name can be anything, everything, and nothing at all. If you read my book, you will understand. If you don't understand, please reply to my love letter and ask, and I shall endeavor to explain. Please, beloved ones, please. Let me know what you think. Of course, extensive research is needed to make my point. And this would include research into employment law, research into discrimination law, and the old law of slavery, the abolition law, as well as the new law of slavery, both international and national. Somewhere in the UK has a law called Modern Slavery Act 2015, for instance. But we need brave people to want to change these names. What is your role in this, beloved ones? You can start a similar movement of love writing to beloved ones. You can start it wherever you are in the world. I know you do not have time because you're very busy. But you can contribute by challenging the thoughts that you have just read, by replying the letter, by saying why it is weak, why it will not succeed, and by dealing with the mess. I am the love letter. Love to you always. Love to all always. Wow. This came from that mess. That came from that mess. I am the mess. I am messy, full of rubbish. But inside the rubbish, sometimes glamour can come out. Inside the rubbish, sometimes important thoughts can come out. Be who you are. If you're a mess, create beauty out of your mess. Mess is that manure that nurtures and nourishes and creates beauty worldwide. Out of a mess, beauty can emanate. I want to take this opportunity to say hello to other people who have 
uh, accepted like I have that they are mess. I'll remember my friend Ma and I'll remember Sammy and Sam. I say hello to all of you. Hello Ma, thanks for being my partner in mess for uh, suggesting that I make sure that I package the mess in a way that is as messy as that will attract the criticism of who I am, the messy me, the rubbish, the one whose art is absolutely rubbish and a mess. And who rejoices in that? Are you a mess? Can you create beauty out of your mess? I'm doing my best. Let's have a discussion. This is me. I am the love letter. I received the love letter. You have had the, the love letter read. You are the love letter too. You can reply to this. Let's engage in this discussion. This is Touch Love Worldwide Broadcasting Service transmitting from the mess, the rubbish in London, reaching you wherever you are, saying, Touch Love touch love touch love please touch love oh please love love oh please please touch love oh please please touch love touch love make your mess walk create beauty out of the mess touch love Hey, touch love, touch love, touch, touch, touch love, touch love, touch love, touch love, touch love, the love which you are. Love to you always, love to all always. Yeah!